All right, all systems go. All wired in, new capacitor, hot, da ba bop, bop. Look at that. So I've got a failed motor here and a filthy condenser. So we're going to change this motor and clean this condenser. To do that, we're going to we're going to take all the screws off the top and then we pull off the three wires that connect to the fan, which I already did, but they went right here into the capacitor. That way that the top will just lift off. So you've got all the screws on the top and all the way around the edge of the top. Here's what it'll look like once you get the top panel off. Sit over there and make sure you have somebody to help you put that back on because it's not easy if you're trying to do it by yourself. Today I'm using Viper Coil Cleaner in a can. It's an aerosol and I personally like it because it's not uh, going to hurt the coil if it doesn't get rinsed off because I don't have any way to get water up here so I'm just going to have to use a pump up sprayer with whatever I can bring up. So I won't be rinsing it that well, so this is perfect for what I'm going to be using it for. So I picked up three cans of this stuff, so uh, it worked out perfect. I used all three, and I still had like a, about a third of a can left when I was done. So I also decided to brush it some because I don't have you know good water pressure up there. So brush it a little bit to help me get the crap off. It helped. And I picked up this pump-up sprayer. I thought it would be a good idea, but it turned out to not really be a very effective way of getting water onto that coil. I mean, it would work, but uh, I'm a very impatient person. So, I did it a couple times. I filled it up, pumped it up, sprayed it on there, uh, and then I just decided I ended up using the pump-up sprayer uh, two-gallon container and filling that up with uh, water from the hose because the hose is like 20 feet away. But this is some of that nastiness coming out right there. This is still before I used to um, fill up the pump-up sprayer container with a hose and dump it on the coil method. But it was just, you can tell, you can see it, it's just filthy. And I don't have any video of me uh, dumping the water on there, so we're going to go straight to when it is now clean after I'm done dump in the water but I did manage to take this quick videos of the filth getting washed out this is after I dumped with the uh, two gallon jug that's about the best I can get it without water reaching all the way over here but that's better than what it was 
And here we are sanding the shaft, preparing it. Uh, we're gonna start taking that uh, blade off. And I've gotten into the habit to where every time I do this, I, I loosen the set screw, take my crescent wrench, I twist that shaft and I push the blade down instead of pulling it up. Push it down, that way I can get all the rust off. You see how I sand all the rust off this way? And then I, I try to pull the, the blade up. Because I've pulled hundreds of these things off. I find that this is the easiest way. Man, sometimes I even, even if there's no rust on them, I still sand them because it just makes it easier to pull the, the, uh, the hub off of the shaft. So don't ever try to pull a, a blade off of a shaft without sanding it. It's just a waste of time. It gets it so much easier if you sand it. And a crescent wrench works perfect for twisting it in there and bam, there it goes. You pull out the wire protector, wire guard, whatever, and now you can uh, unscrew the motor. These motors, most of them, they just hook onto the top with these four nuts or cap nuts, whatever you call them. Ideally, uh, a socket works best for this, but Sometimes the nuts off the old motor will fit. About a 50-50 shot that, that they'll fit. And in this case, they fit, so cool. Works for me. Make sure that you mount your motor on here where the leads, the wires, they go, they point out towards that hole. Whoa, right there. So something like that is what I'm looking for pointing towards the, the electrical outlet hole. So then as you put your fan and and hold top back down, you got to make sure that those wires get run through there. And as the case with many times, my wires on my new mortar are too short. So I'm going to have to use these ones. I'm going to extend them to reach my electrical box. All systems go all wired in new capacitor hot da, ba, bop, bop. Look at that. there we go and that's it for this video so appreciate you guys watching and make sure you like it and subscribe if you like it and you want to subscribe so I appreciate it till next time